to use a nice analogy between uh, democracy and, um, uh, and, and monarchy. Uh, when the Soviet Union fell apart, some people asked me, how do you explain that in these East Bloc countries, um, even during peacetime, uh, life expectancy declined, whereas in all other countries, life expectancy rose? And I thought about it for a while, and uh, I came up with the following answer. Um, communist countries were a specific, specific form of slavery. Uh, slavery is defined by two characteristics, so to speak. On the one hand, uh, you cannot run away. If you run away, the slave, the slave owner can capture you and kill you, beat you, whatever he wants. And secondly, they can assign you to do certain tasks. So in this sense, we have two types of slavery. We have the traditional type of slavery that we know from, um, from the United States and many, many other countries where you have private slave owners. But communist countries were fulfilling this definition of slavery just as well. Because if you tried to run away from East Germany, for instance, they killed you. Uh, you had to stay there, and of course, they could also assign you to work. Uh, now ask yourself, would you rather, if you have no choice but to be a slave, would you rather want to be a privately owned slave, or would you want to be a publicly owned slave? <laughs> And the answer is, of course, then if that's the only alternative I have, I prefer to be a privately owned slave every day because my owner has an interest in preserving my value. After all, he wants to keep me healthy. He wants my life expectancy to rise. He wants me to have children, if possible. Um, uh, he will take me to the doctor. Um, and life expectancy of privately owned slaves rose by and large in parallel to the life expectancy of the free population. Um, slaves in the Soviet Union, where you did not own them privately, could rent them out in the private market and keep the money yourself, but you could nonetheless tell them what to do and prevent them from running away. You you killed them en masse. Uh, you didn't do anything to preserve the capital value embodied um, in, the, in the slave. Uh, no private slave, no private owner of, of a cow, so to speak, uh, yeah, will deliberately kill the cow. Uh, but if it is a publicly owned cow, these cows will uh, en masse, en masse Killed. And this is precisely, again, what, what, democracy, what democracy does and promote. Uh, uh, with this, I end my first part of the speech, and as I, as I said in the, uh, with a little break in the second part, I will now give the constructive alternative of how a society could work with, without this type of nonsense setup that I have described. Thank you.